Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock to begin with and then we'll also go over other semiconductors AMD, ARM, Broadcom, SMCI and Micron. So let's take a look at what's been going on in the world of semiconductors today. Now, before going further, I also want to let you know, none of this is any financial advice. It's only for education purposes. Please do your own thing. I'm just sharing here my opinion, nothing more than that. All right, so Nvidia. Now, we have a red candle today, but guys, the structure is still bullish. As I have been saying, any dip into this blue box, in trade only intraday, I would not suggest more than that, but this green candle that came, um, and in last couple of days with this pivot as we have formed a higher pivot does also getting above this 20 days moving average and the blue box Nvidia structure as long as we are above that blue box pullbacks on this on lower time frame can still be traded intraday long because structure that's again you can still do whatever you want if you want to short you can short as well if you're a really good scalper but since the structure is bullish there are more likelihood that pullbacks are to be bought like at this point unless and until we are not losing 123 and from the where the price is better is to look at the pullback see where the consolidation is happening see where the price action is holding and then uh, this can still be played to the upside all right but it's just all about where it's going to find that so for example is this the place like the decision is yours i'm just pointing out we are at 20 hours moving average we already have one candle hourly candle getting bought back up into the pullback we have some pullback happening you can see this green candle is getting bought back up trade only intraday whatever it is i'm just telling you the principles of trading decisions are yours but have a stop loss regardless based off of your risk tolerance but in this case like for example for intraday my stop loss would be somewhere below this 20 hours moving average if i'm seeing the confirmation on the lower time frame that the pullback is holding and in this case well is, is the pullback holding well we do have a sort of you know bottoming out like a double bottom sort of right so if you want to get more clarity let's go to the three minutes interval so yeah we you can see yeah, we do have some sort of this you know bottom forming here is this bottom good enough well uh, as long as well we keep holding this and we get above these levels like 126 and 87 cents um, yeah stop loss could be on the other side like uh, below this in in this blue box somewhere but accordingly take partial profits out right like one position could have been like intraday scalps here and then trying to play another one with the scalp here size and size out but intraday all in all structure on this is still bullish guys pullback if it pullback it becomes deeper below 20 hours moving average as well 50 hours moving average is still yet to be washed but also as i'm saying just because nvidia has changed the structure gotten out of these lower pivots lower highs on the intraday and getting out of that trend line that was you know is going to keep in my opinion uh, in the bullish structure unless i see a break of it and as i'm saying um, there, there's a pivot already on the structure unless and until we are not losing the pivot pullbacks intraday can still be traded long structure all in all is also bullish right now on nvidia regardless you'll have a stop loss on the other side size and size out your positions all right AMD. So AMD, well, so seems as I have talked about it in my yesterday video as well, that AMD to me is looking like a bullish play for the reasons that um, I explained. I'll talk more about it, but this supply zone was already acted upon and then we held the pivot. Then after this green candle, we only had a little bit of a red candle, not a deeper sell off. That was just a pullback. And today we are seeing a rip through up. And yeah, structure on this is full on bullish yeah so this blue box as long as we were above it we were bullish as i have been saying and um yeah things are continuing higher on amd so can it continue higher well you can see today's range it's already reaching its average range uh, so it's time to take profits for today 
uh, as long as well as for the swing structure yes it's still bullish i'll talk more about it in its separate video what are the other things to look for uh, but yeah today's move is over done but your yeah, structure is bullish mm -hmm. arm as you already know i have been saying that blue box is a buy zone pullback is 20 days moving average is a buy zone level by level it's as it breaks it's going to keep going higher it break to the next level went again to all time highs and it's continuing higher i have been saying structure on this is bullish and so it is bullish broadcom doing some sell-off but structure all in all is not bearish just remember that that's a pullback that's coming in um, and at this point if we go to the lower time frame so you are already aware about this level i provided 16 17 getting above it is just bullish higher lows also forming we still have a higher low here all right at this point you gotta be watching which level holds here intraday level mm -hmm. but i would as i always suggest take partial profits out regardless right so um yeah and this is the time to size out of the position all right if if you have a position already um as for intraday today was a weekday you can see we have a sell-off but it's coming down to one of the intraday levels trying to find support here we have to see if it finds support here usually one candle would not do it you want to see eventually which levels where it forms consolidation either it could be at 50 200 or one of these levels but that's the zone you're watching total overall structure is still bullish on this thing though smci smci is let's go to the daily interval first all right that blue box uh, it's in that blue box but it's just so choppy right now that i have been saying traded intraday uh, this is anyone's game on either side so the way to trade it as what i have been saying is let's go to the hourly interval as long as this keeps holding this trend line to the upside right um this particular one you can trade it up today was another pullback but then i have also been saying just because there's just so much of mixed signals on this it's nothing more than an intraday play and at 200 hours moving average you know that would be it for this play and we are selling off at 200 hours moving average rejection so and after that it's becoming a downside play at this point yeah if we continue to lose these levels right like blue box bottom we've come much lower then it can continue lower as well so just keep that in mind just trade it intraday based off of these levels but yeah the long play is done that was it the pivots that i provided earlier at this point just trade it intraday micron all right so it's giving up its gains and that is coming at underneath of 20 hours moving average sorry 20 days moving average our previous plays on this were i talked about if we can get well first of all post earnings follow through to the downside blue box i provided 50 days moving average went back up from there as expected and then i provided the level of uh, 131 i guess let's go to the hourly interval and the level i provided to watch was this 131 and 89 cents above this as you know we were bullish as i said it's a bullish play but i said that please be careful below 200 hours moving average and below this resistance zone if once price gets over there that would be it for now i want to see what price does there right if it sells off it sells off and we had a gap up sell off and then continuation to the downside so yes right today well it's not an intraday long play and yes it rejected underneath of that resistance with 200 hours moving average so traded intraday only and today was a short play as you can see um, but yeah this was the plan all in all because once you see at these areas as i provided these rejections happens you would see a break of the levels and once that happens it's it's a downside flush all right guys that's it for this video if you found it helpful valuable please hit the like subscribe our tesla video will be coming out as well today well just like always tesla is looking still good and we have well very good actually and microsoft is so up meta is 22 dollars up like unstoppable market well i'll talk about it more throughout the day all right i'll see my next videos guys take care bye